Okay, let's do it. Snap, crackle, pop. Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, today's video we're gonna compare Panasonic GX9, here it is right here, to the Olympus Pen F. Here it is right here. Two great, awesome, super rad, super cool Micro Four Thirds cameras. Probably two of the most famous Micro Four Thirds cameras ever developed. Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Yeah, no, Now, this is going to be a very non-technical video. I'm going to talk more from my experience using the two cameras and what I feel the big difference is between these two particular awesome Micro Four Thirds cameras. I've had the Panasonic GX9 going on about two years now, or well, probably about two and a half years now. Only had the Olympus Pan Air for about two and a half months. But I feel as though I've used it enough now to make this comparison video. I know this is a video all you guys and girls have been waiting for. So straight off the bat, I know I say that saying a lot, we're gonna talk about image quality. What images do I prefer out of each particular camera? Well, for me, I feel as though the Panasonic GX9 provides more of a cleaner, crisper, sharper image, especially paired up with the Panasonic Leica lenses. I feel as though that the um, Panasonic GX9 provides more true colors uh, in the final JPEGs and the raw files. feel as though that the Olympus Pen F has more vibe to the images, um, has got more of a film-like look, even in the raw files. I feel as though the raw files has more of a film sort of vibe with the Olympus Pen F. So if I want a real clean, crisp look to my images, if I'm doing street photography, I'll go the Panasonic GX9 with lenses like the uh, Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7. Or if I'm going for more of a grungier, grittier sort of look, film vibes, that sort of thing, I'll go with the Olympus Pen F. For me, there's no winner when it comes to image quality and image output. They both provide great images. There's just a little bit of difference in the final image and look both in the raw files and the JPEGs, in my experience and my humble opinion. This is not fact. The next thing I wanna talk about is the overall user experience between the two cameras. I feel as though that the Panasonic GX9 handles a little bit better in the hand, especially if you rig it up with the JJC extension grip. I've also got a thumb grip here now mounted in the hot shoe. Um, for one-handed shooting and stuff like that, I feel as though that Panasonic GX9 has it over the Olympus Pen F. Also for street photography and things like that, you've got the flip up screen compared to the flip out screen. It's a little bit more discreet. I do feel as though that the Panasonic GX9 is a little bit more weightier than the Olympus Pen F. I'm not gonna get the scales out or anything like that. That's just from me and my experience. The Olympus Pen F is a little bit more nimble. Um, it's a little bit more easy to quickly pick up and grab. Um, it's also got like a little bump here at the back of the camera, so it's not too bad for one-handed shooting. Maybe if I got the extension grip for this particular camera, it would work out well for one-handed shooting. I like the on-off button better on the Olympus Pen F compared to the Panasonic GX9. It's a little bit easier to get to. And just quickly, if you are gonna order one of these hot shoe thumb grips for your Panasonic GX9, um, it doesn't work. Well, 
Not that it doesn't work, it's just this little hot shoe thumb grip is actually designed for the Panasonic GX85. And I thought automatically, naturally, that it would definitely work on the Panasonic GX9. However, it doesn't. It covers the on off button. So you gotta carry a pen around with you to turn the camera on and off, or you gotta take it out of the hot shoe, put it back in the hot shoe. It's a little bit annoying. However, I think it's definitely worth it for the handling experience of the Panasonic GX9. It adds a little bit more grip, one-handed shooting, street photography, that sort of thing, and it looks super rad. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna go and get that thumb grip for your Panasonic GX9. But back to the Olympus Pen F, I like the on-off button better. I like the locking mechanism between the mode dial. That's really cool. Um, the Olympus Pen F has got more of a retro vibe to it, I must say. Um, you know, it's coming from that Olympus uh, Pen F sort of like film era. So it looks a little bit more cooler in my opinion. Maybe the Olympus Pen F is a little bit more fun too. Um, I didn't think I would use the art modes as much as I do, but I do. Flipping the switch around, you get into the cool black and white modes, different sort of film looks. It's pretty rad. So the fun factor is awesome on the Olympus Pen F. Both cameras, if you're a back button focuser kind of guy, which I am on my Panasonic G9, my GH5 Mark II, the bigger cameras. On these particular two cameras, the back button focus is like not the best. On the Olympus Pen F, it's all the way back here, you gotta move your button. On the uh, Panasonic GX9, the button is reseated really far into the camera. It's just better, just keep it on the shutter. Both cameras have exposure compensation dials, which is cool if you're an aperture priority mode shooter or a shutter priority mode shooter. They're both hands down awesome for uh, manual shooters like myself. Shutter on the back, aperture on the front, awesome. I like how the Panasonic GX9, especially with the Panasonic Leica lenses, the aperture ring at the front, you've got a, you've got the full triangle underneath your fingers, it's awesome. So on the Panasonic GX9, of course my aperture is on the ring on the um, Panasonic 15mm f1.7. I've got ISO on the front, shutter on the back. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. If you like things like the flip up viewfinder like that, um, the Panasonic GX9 is the way to go. The Olympus Pen F doesn't have that. I have found in a few situations uh, I've missed that feature when I'm using the Olympus Pen F. You get the stabilization, the dual stabilization with the um, Panasonic GX9. Um, if you're using Lumix lenses or Leica lenses on the Olympus Pen F, you lose that feature. The aperture ring won't uh, work when you're using um, the Panasonic Leica lenses on the Olympus Pen F. <laughs> Um, this is like me choosing, you know, my favorite child. And I've only got one kid. When it comes down to it, honestly, guys, I really can't choose one over the other. If I'm looking for sharper, crispier images, I'm gonna go the Panasonic GX9. If I'm looking for sort of more sort of film-like vibes, a bit more retro, a more fun experience, I'm gonna go the Olympus Pen F. Let's just face it, they are two cameras that are absolutely made for the streets. And if Panasonic are listening, and if OM Systems, Olympus, are listening, you know, a Mark II version of each camera would sell like hotcakes. It's also safe to say that Micro Four Thirds is not dead. Uh, Micro Four Thirds is very much alive. So, you know, if Olympus, OM Systems, or Panasonic really listened up, listened that, you know, these little tiny rangefinder-esque style of cameras are very popular, Mark II versions of these cameras go like hotcakes in my opinion. And as I quickly said before, I can't choose. I think they're both awesome. They're both awesome cameras. They're both fantastic. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, which camera do you like the best, the Olympus Pen F or the Panasonic GX9? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.